a lot of people jump right into cardio and they don't really make any dietary changes and the next morning they wake up and they're extremely sore. And now there certainly are a lot of reasons for this, but one of the reasons is you may not have actually supplied your body with the nutrients it needs to repair. Cardio and exercise is inherently damaging. And it's the process of actually repairing from this damage and growing a little bit stronger that is the impetus of adaptation. And the reason that we actually begin to adapt to endurance training is because during an endurance training session, we'll get a buildup of what are called reactive oxygen species. So when we're making energy, at the end of the process, we'll donate four electrons to oxygen to create water. And this process typically goes pretty smoothly, but every once in a while we lose an electron and may only add one, two, or three electrons. And what this creates is what's called a reactive oxygen species. And you may have heard of some of these. One is actually going to be hydrogen peroxide. And you can actually see the effects of hydrogen peroxide in action. If you ever put hydrogen peroxide on a cut or a wound, the pain that you feel is actually because it's damaging some of the phospholipids in the membrane of your skin. And when it's inside of the cell, it can do the same thing. It can damage some of the phospholipid membranes, or it can even damage some of the DNA. And in response to an excessive amount of these reactive oxygen species that's caused during exercise, we actually upregulate a lot of the cellular machinery to pretty much make energy more efficiently. So they're helpful to give us the signal for making adaptations, but we still need to neutralize them before they can cause too much damage. And luckily, one of the other adaptations that we make is by increasing the amount of intracellular antioxidants that we have. And these are just molecules that can actually neutralize the reactive oxygen species. However, there's only so many of these antioxidants that the cell can produce, but we can support this by actually eating antioxidants. And really, the most important thing to remember is that the more energy we use, the more of these reactive oxygen species we will create. And the process of doing more cardio than normal is increasing the amount of energy we're using, meaning we'll need to neutralize more of these reactive oxygen species. So the more cardio you're doing, especially when you first get into it, the more antioxidants you'll probably want to eat. And the most concentrated sources of antioxidants really are going to be berries and herbs and spices. However, amino acids are actually the building blocks to make our own endogenous antioxidants, so eating more protein helps enhance our endogenous production. However, it's not recommended to take extremely large doses of antioxidants, such as those found in supplements, because they may actually be a little bit too potent, and they may actually neutralize the reactive oxygen species too quickly, and we won't get very strong of a signal to make adaptations. But it does seem like dietary antioxidants and providing our body with all of the building blocks to make our own antioxidants strikes the best balance of not being too sore the next day, but still being sore enough so that we get the signal for making adaptations.